Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be retrofitting the cruise control with the braking function to my BMW F20. Now, in the UK, a lot of the BMW F20s wasn't specced with cruise control. And I think that's purely because a lot of these F-series cars, especially the F20, were spec by a lot of the younger generation, which a lot of people don't use cruise control. Secondly, bearing in mind it's a small hatchback, you're gonna use it for town driving, not really motorway driving, so therefore you're not gonna really need the cruise control. Now mine does have the limiter, but it wasn't spec with the cruise control option. Now I was just gonna fit the buttons for the cruise control and retrofit them, but as the steering wheel was actually faded and you can also upgrade it, and I wanted to have the more later steering wheel, which you can easily do, it's a straight swap like for like, I bought the newer steering wheel for the car. Now if you realize, these steering wheels were fitted from 2014 onwards, we got the airbag also. This one is basically just a straight fit and you also see right there, it's got the cruise control buttons. So I'm just gonna really code in the cruise control, fit the new steering wheel and that's the job done. It is a very, very straightforward install. You'll go to BMW and they say it can't be done or it's very expensive, but it's very, very easy to install cruise control to your vehicle. So I'm gonna go out to the car, we're gonna take off the old steering wheel which is badly, badly faded. Many of you guys would have already seen that and that's the reason why I'm changing it because it does not make the car look attractive whatsoever. We're gonna put this new one on, which took me a very, very long time to find. I've been waiting weeks to find the right one because I wanted it in perfect, perfect condition, which this one is. We're gonna go out, fit this, and then we're gonna VO code the cruise control so we can have the cruise control on my F20. So let's get onto the video. What? God damn, get it done with you. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories. We run into New York, so you know. Okay, guys. So as you'll see here, we're now in the car. And if you'll see just here, I do not have the cruise control function on the steering wheel. All I have is the limiter. Now the limiter just limits the speed so that way you can keep it, for instance, doing 30 miles an hour without going over. Mercedes have had that on their cars and vans for many, many years before BMW and BMW have just integrated it into their F-Series cars. Now, we are gonna be changing this over. As I said, you can just buy the buttons for your steering wheel if you prefer to have this steering wheel, but I just don't see the point as the newer one is like a straight swap. It doesn't cause no issues. So therefore, I'm just putting a new one in and gonna code in the cruise control with the braking function, which is VO code 544. You'll see I've got all the other buttons here, which is the same on the other one. It's just configured differently. And I'm just missing the cruise control here. So after we change the steering wheel and we code it in, we will have basically a fully loaded car with the full steering wheel with every option on it. So let's go ahead and take the steering wheel off and put the new one on. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and release the steering wheel, but the first thing we're gonna go do is go ahead and release the battery, take off the negative battery cable in the rear. Okay, so now we've got the battery cable released. What we're gonna go ahead and do to get to the steering wheel, as many of you guys would have seen on my other video, is take the cowling down so we can get to the clips behind the steering wheel to release the steering wheel. Now you will always have to do that because you won't be able to get to the clips with the cowling in the way. So you're gonna have to take the cowling down to be able to get to the clips that release the airbag. So I'm gonna go inside the car and we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna show you, you guys would have seen how to do that on a previous video when I replaced the switch cluster. So I'm just gonna leave that right now and we're just gonna go ahead and take out the airbag and I'll show you how to install the new one after. So you'll see here now we've got the cowling released and we're just gonna pull the steering wheel out and lift that up. Then we're gonna take this one down. Now you won't need to disconnect the transponder at all. If that's what you're thinking, just leave that hanging. You just wanna make sure the steering wheel is fully down as well. And then you're gonna look for the clips on the back of the steering wheel here. Now, if you see here, we've now got the airbag connections, which you guys remember when I've done it before. So we're just gonna push that in to take that out. And then you've got the other one for the airbag right here, which you're just gonna to wanna to pull out as well to release the airbag. Now, once that's been completed, you just wanna straighten up the steering wheel. Then you're gonna get your 16 mil nut, which is right here. And you're just gonna to wanna to release it. Just like that. Then you're just gonna to wanna to take off the steering wheel. And once that's done, you're now ready 
to reinstall the new one. So as we go ahead to install the new one, as I've told you before, you just want to align it correctly and it should align just like that. You want to put your SZL clip in there. And now if you do have another one, another switch, which this one does, which is just round here, it's tucked away. You'll see right here, we've got another switch. This one would go into here, out the way if it connects into anything, but it doesn't. So that one was just before like the heated steering wheel. Now you've also got to retighten your steering wheel down. So it will be just the same again, just retighten it down again. Just like that. Then you're just going to want to connect your airbag up to here. Just like that. And you want to make sure you get the correct airbag because in the US they use a free stage. In the UK, they use a single stage. And then once that's in, you just want to push the airbag into position once you've got everything aligned correctly like I have. And then that'll be it. That's your new steering wheel fitted to the car. And as you see there, it looks much, much better. Now we're just going to reconnect all the cowling. We're going to reconnect the bottom piece and the top piece. And then that's the steering wheel retrofit complete. So now that's completed, what I'm going to go ahead and do first before we code in the cruise control is I'm just going to test all the buttons on the multifunction steering wheel are working. Obviously, I want to make sure the paddles are working. I want to make sure everything's working before we start doing anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the battery and just check all the buttons are working on the car. So I've just checked every single button and every single button works, including the paddles also. So everything is basically working apart from the cruise control. So all we've now got to do is just code in 544, the cruise control with the braking function to the car, and then we'll have the full cruise control actually working. So I'm going to go ahead, code that in, VO code it, and then that's the job completed. Now, all the coding for everything that you're seeing on the videos will be on the membership for the members. So if you guys need the coding, it will be on the membership. There's a lot of reasons I'm doing that. I'm not going to get into it in this video, but the coding will be on the membership for all the members to see. And if you do need to know how to code it, it will be on there. You also see a much simpler tool that I'm using in eSystem. A lot of people seem to think you need to use eSystem. That's a lot harder than the tool I'm using to VO code everything into this car. So that is the steering wheel retrofit complete. Okay guys, so now we've finally completed the coding for the new steering wheel. We had to change that over. Obviously the limb variante, which is meaning the steering wheel that was fitted to the car is completely different to what we've got now. I also had to VO code 544 to the FEM, the Combi, and the integrated chassis management, which is done also. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just take this out for a drive and make sure it's all working. So we're just gonna get out of here. And we want to make sure our limb function is still working also. Let's put our foot down a bit as it can't be activated. And if you can see there, we can now toggle the speed, which is there. And it's using the cruise control. My foot's not on the accelerator. It is the cruise control set. We're just going to turn that off. Now we're going to try the limiter. The limiter is fully working, which as you can see, this is what the limiter does. I've limited to 23 miles an hour. You can put your foot down all you want and it's not going to go any faster than that. So there you have it guys, the cruise control function is working. This does have the braking function when going downhill also. We've got all that coded in and literally took at most 10 minutes to code it all in and code all the modules for it all to fully work. Okay guys, so there you have it. Now you've seen the cruise control fully working on my BMW F20. We have changed the steering wheel to the new later one. We don't have a wrong version installed on the car code either because we've coded it all properly all the functions work i.e the cruise control the limb function the braking function when going downhill i'm very very happy with this retrofit all the buttons work on the steering wheel including the paddles which have been tested so therefore this is a job complete and if you are looking to do this i do highly recommend to upgrade to the newest steering wheel only if you can get it cheap enough as I said, I did find this very, very cheap in really, really good condition compared to my other one. And that's the only reason why I upgraded it because I wanted to add cruise control to this anyway, which this is a function that this car now has. So if you are looking to do this, it is something I do recommend you can go ahead and do if you can find it cheap enough. Okay, so as you've seen there, the retrofit has now been completed. 
So now the F20 finally has cruise control, which is an option which should have been specced when the person actually bought the car. You know, there was no reason for them not to do that. It was just being cheap, trying to get what they could for this less amount of money. So I just don't get why someone wouldn't have specced cruise control. But anyhow, we have retrofitted it. And if you do own a BMW F series, you can retrofit it the exact same way. Bear in mind, if you've got an F20, if you've got an F30, that is how you'd retrofit the cruise control on your F series car. The coding is very, very easy, especially with e-system. You just activate the FA, pull it in the VO 544, and then you just code the FEM, ICM, and the combi, and it will be there immediately. You will have cruise control activated on your car. So I hope this video is gonna help you how to retrofit cruise control on your car. Thank you very much for watching. If you do want the code in, it will be on the membership showing you guys how to use that, because as you guys know, all coding and any kind of software is now on the membership for the paying members. So thank you very much for watching this BMW Dr. Dean here, and goodbye.